If you see someone with a red face and a rapid heartbeat, it might be because they're shy, it might be because they've had a drink, it might be because they're shy and have had a drink. When Asian people have a drink, why do they flush so easily? The reason is, there's a genetic deficiency in their bodies. In Taiwan, nearly 50% of the population has this deficiency. And, oh my, it can increase the risk of cancer. But why? This program is provided by Professor De Hong Wang, Foundation of Gastroenterology. With special thanks to Dr. Zhe Hong Chun, Stanford University School of Medicine, and Dr. Zhao Tang Lin, Dean of School of Medicine, Furen Catholic University as co-producers. All these things are related to alcohol metabolism. When people drink happily and say, cheers, most of the alcohol is converted into acetaldehyde by the process of alcohol dehydrogenase in the liver. But acetaldehyde is so poisonous. In 2007, it was classified by the WHO as a group one carcinogen. In the cells of a human body, acetaldehyde, which is like Lord Voldemort in Harry Potter, can freak us out and give us goosebumps all over. What shall we do? Don't worry! There's an enzyme called aldehyde dehydrogenase 2 in our body! It's also called ALDH2 for short! Acetaldehyde is converted by ALDH2 into ethanoic acid, also known as acetic acid. After the conversion, it's no longer harmful to the cells. But this does not mean we can drink as much as we want. The reason being, nearly 50% of Taiwanese people have ALDH2 deficiency. The number of ALDH2 deficient people in Taiwan is ranked number one in the world. Among these people, when acetaldehyde is converted by ALDH2, the conversion speed is so slow. It's like a long Taiwanese soap opera. Meaning, if you have a few drinks, <laughs> A lot of acetaldehyde, which is a category 1 carcinogen, will accumulate in your body. It not only makes you flush, it also causes heart palpitation, headache, vomiting, and a serious hangover. What's worse, acetaldehyde can increase the risk of head and neck cancer and esophageal cancer. This risk is as high as the tallest building in the world. Therefore, never assume that drinking a bit of alcohol, then turning red in the face and having a fast heartbeat doesn't matter at all. No cancer is harmless. After watching this, a smart person like you should know the saying, alcohol flushing while drinking means the liver is working well. That's in fact totally wrong, wrong, wrong! Never forget it and always keep it in mind. Flushing most likely is the result of slow conversion of acetaldehyde. According to research, if a person with ALDH2 deficiency drinks less than two cans of beer every day, their risk of getting esophageal cancer is 40 times higher than the risk for people who do not drink. If they drink more than two cans every day, the risk is 400 times higher than the risk for those who do not drink. That rate is really scary! Can you imagine how greatly a simple genetic deficiency can increase the risk of getting cancer for people who drink? What's worse, when you drink and smoke, the concentration of acetaldehyde produced from tobacco burning is seven times higher than in your saliva than when you only drink. It's not only in your mouth, throat, esophagus, stomach, and intestines that are screaming out for your health, but your family's children's pets and your neighbors are also screaming out if you let yourself get cancer. So when you smoke and drink, you're actually in the process of killing yourself. After this explanation, I guess you'd want to know whether you have an ALDH2 deficiency. Here's a simple way for you to find out. Follow these steps to do a preliminary test on yourself. First, stretch your arms out like Popeye. Second, apply some strong alcohol or liquor on a band-aid. Third, cover your arm with the band-aid. In the meantime, put your drink down now. You're not allowed to take a sip during the process. Mm -mm. Remove your band-aid after 15 minutes. If there are two red lines on your arm, wow, congratulations, you're pregnant. Uh, just kidding. Actually, if your skin has a red spot when you tear off the band-aid, you're likely to be ALDH2 deficient. But this test is only 70% accurate. So if you want to be sure if you have an ALDH2 deficiency, you'll need to do a genetic test. Once again, let me remind you, nearly 50% of Taiwanese people have the ALDH2 deficiency. All the negative effects of drinking for Taiwanese people, like headache, flushing, heart palpitation, vomiting, and hangovers will occur frequently. Also, the rate of getting cancer will increase greatly. Therefore, drinking is not recommended if you have an ALDH2 deficiency. Next time, when you want to drink, you better think twice. Finally, let me remind you again, no drinking, no smoking, no betel nut chewing, and keep your mouth clean and healthy to prevent oral cancer and esophageal cancer. Why are you still here? Hurry up! Go and share this film with your drinking buddies now!